So one of the problems I needed to solve when I got this uh, new Fuji E3 camera was how to get the photos and videos from the SD card into my phone so that if we're away on holiday we can get them into Google Photos easily and useful for a backup so they're not all just on the memory card they're also being copied onto the phone um, so that you've got them in two places. So I've come up with a solution and it works pretty well and it's quite speedy um, and it works with video whereas the uh, the Fuji app that comes uh, with the camera doesn't actually sync the videos in uh, and it takes some time. It's, some, it's somewhat picky about the, uh, the way it connects. Not had much luck with it. So this combination really helps. So what we've got here is a USB on the go adapter so this came with the phone and it adapts a uh, older style USB socket into USB-C. And then we've got an anchor memory card reader, uh, which is USB 3. And uh, so you just slot the memory card into, into there. And then that's almost ready to go. And then we need to get the adapter plugged onto there. And then, then that goes into the bottom of the phone, which we'll show you next. Okay, now that's attached to the phone, I can go into files and it appears as a external storage. You can see there, uh, USB storage one. And I can go inside and find the Fuji folder, which contains photos and videos. What I need to do now is synchronize those onto the uh, onto the phone automatically. Um, I don't want to have to go in there and pick the ones I want and copy those across. I just want it to be automatic. So I've found an app for that. Um, it's called Folder Sync. And in here, it lets you define folder pairs. So this has a source and a destination on the home screen here. Uh, you do get a file manager. You can see the sync status. Now it's kind of built for cloud accounts and synchronizing files from your phone into the cloud. So into Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever, but it does allow you to do that without any cloud connectivity. And that's where I set up this folder pair that synchronizes. And you can see at the top, it just says SD card and the remote folder, i.e. that's, that's where you're taking uh, files from and then local folder and that's where you're sending files to um, and you get to that by selecting the folders so I created a new folder at the root of the uh, uh, storage on the phone called Fuji backup and then told it where to find the uh, the photos and then down here you can select well do you want to do that daily um, in this case no because the, uh, the the memory card won't be attached to the phone all the time um, I want to do this on demand. And then there's some sync options down here which are quite flexible. Um, so you're saying whether you want to do subfolders, hidden files, and so on. And um, I, the only thing I changed in here really was overwrite old files, and I've just said never on that one. Um, in, so that uh, means it doesn't get confused. If you've already synced files over, uh, it won't try and sync them again over the top. Um, there's some stuff around connections here, so uh, that's whether it will only do it whilst you're on Wi-Fi, and we're not interested in any of those for this particular application. And I think that, oh yeah, and notifications. I wanted to pop up a, a notification when uh, it had synchronized, because some of these syncs take ages, uh, and when there are errors. So you can use filters if you buy the Pro version, so you could say, I just want to copy uh, the video files across or just images uh, and I really do think I'm going to get the pro version so that I can set up a job for uh, the photos and then a separate job for the videos so that if I just want the all the photos quickly across then that's dead easy and dead simple to do. So let's go back and start the sync. Um, there are a few um, videos and things on the card that haven't been synced onto the phone so if we start that and then when we go into sync status, we can see the files getting synchronized. And it's a fair speed, 20 meg a second, uh, kind of what you would expect from a memory card reader. Um, 
This is faster than I've seen over the Wi-Fi connection, and it's certainly a lot more reliable. Okay, so that eventually finished. Uh, if you look through sync history, you can see I actually cancelled that one because it was copying far too much stuff across. And uh, I'll cover a problem that I found in this kind of synchronization uh, and how it works with some of the other backup programs. Um, so we can look into the sync history and see how many files it copied across, the average transfer speed, and which files got copied onto the device. So that's really handy. Uh, you can check whether it's done what it's supposed to. Now, the problems I've found is it's great and it does copy everything across. And if you look in my files and come back up into internal storage and look for the Fuji backup folder, you can see all the files in there. Problem is when it copies files across, it copies them as these kind of MOV files. And you can see underneath I've renamed some of these to MOV.MP4. Um, what I found is that Google Photos doesn't spot these MOV files and will not sync them into Photos Backup. So that's a bit of a problem. And also you can't see the thumbnails in this viewer or any of the other viewers on the Samsung Galaxy S9. Um, so in their gallery app, uh, those MOV files don't display anything. It will play back. So you can play it back through uh, MX Player um, or other video players, um, but it's not, not that helpful that you don't see what um, uh, the thumbnail for the thing. Um, so what I've found, um, and obviously I, I do want them backed up into Google Photos, so that, that was an issue. So what I found is I need to batch rename all these mod files. And there isn't an option within that program to do it. So I've come up with a solution to rename these. So it uses a thing called Automate for Android. And you can see here, I've got a shortcut on uh, the top middle uh, called Fuji Video Renamer. Uh, and if I just hit that, it will then rename those files. At the bottom, it gives you a toaster pop-up that says seven internal and zero external. It's because I haven't fully wired up the external bit. So the way that works is Automate is a rather useful um, sort of automation tool. And it allows you to visually build up um, a flow and that flow contains a number of steps. So in this case, what I've done is near the top, it says list the files in the folder called, called Fuji Backup that end with MOV. And for each of those, go into a, a short loop to uh, first we'll, re, uh, we'll output to the log file, the log file in this app, which file it's going to process. And then we're going to do a move operation uh, and essentially rename the file from what it was to add MP4 to the end. And then lastly, it will write a file into here, into the uh, same directory, and it will call it um, the same name as the file it just moved or renamed. So that ends up having a placeholder file. And that placeholder file will prevent the Synchronize app trying to move the, uh, the MOV file off of the SD card every single time uh, the sync process runs. So it's kind of like a bit of a workaround um, because we're leaving the MOV files on the external card. Uh, we just don't want those syncing every time. And then when it's finished the loop, um, it comes down and shows us a message at the end. So you end up with a folder full of renamed mob files, .mp4s there, and then, oh yeah, and then you've got your, your mob placeholder files. You can see those are only 11 bytes each. So Flow is very useful for automating this kind of thing. Um, you can add a widget to the page. So if I look in here, you can go into widgets. Automate is an option here. And I chose this type of uh, icon for it. You can choose a whole bunch of others on the right hand side. Come on. And then you can pick from the flows that are available. So that's the one I want. And then that's added it to the home screen. Now I'm not going to run that twice because 
uh, it's running at the moment and probably what we'll want to do is do some kind of notification to let you know when that's finished uh, and then you're all good to go to get the SD card out and pop it back in the camera. So that that's the, um, the sort of process I wanted to show you, um, how I'm going to start working with this so that I don't need to bother with the, uh, the Fuji app and to make sure that those videos that come across to the phone uh, are renamed so that uh, Google Photos picks them up. So if you've got a better idea or a way around that issue, uh, renaming the files, then please let me know in the comments. That will save me a whole ton of time. And maybe there's an app that just does all of this uh, and it's a lot easier. Um, but it took me some time to find that folder sync app. There's a lot of junk out there on the Play Store um, and that renaming thing um, needed to be done in a separate app. Maybe there's a way of doing that inside another app and it's sort of a bit more native um, so let me know in the comments thanks very much